Okay, what is your name? Uh, Joe Cunningham. And when did you graduate? In 1947. Awesome. Um, what were some major historical events that happened during your high school career, if you remember? Well, a lot of sports, <laughs> uh, basketball and football. And I don't know of any major things happening mm -hmm. that period. It was after the war was over, so it was the peace times activities. Oh, yeah. and we all were interested in cars and automobiles were really coming on to mm -hmm. I can't think of any other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Um, what was the school atmosphere like when you were there? The what? The school atmosphere. Oh, it was friendly, wonderful people. Teachers were all nice and strict, uh, but we, we we enjoyed that. A healthy balance. Yes. <laughs> was, uh, That's good. Um, what did you enjoy most about your high school career? Uh, Meeting my fr friends that were friends for life. And, uh, I came here as a senior, mm -hmm. and I met some people at school and through the year, and became. And I've been here ever since. Mm -hmm. so, so where did you go to school before? Uh, Bloomington, Indiana, and, and uh, Peru, Indiana. So you like North better. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but definitely. It That's was, the it was a crowning. <laughs> um, what was the rival? Did you? There was a rivalry whenever oh. you were there, right? Oh yeah. North versus. Uh, Shelbyville, or, Seymour. Versus Columbus. Bloomington, but yes. Shelbyville and uh, Seymour were the main rivals. Mm -hmm. What was it like? Do you remember? Oh, it was about like east and north today. Uh, mm -hmm. We had friends at Shelbyville and Seymour, and we'd drive our cars back and forth to, <laughs> at night to the towns. So that was our rivalry, oh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Um, what was your favorite class in uh, English. Mm -hmm. And the reason was the teacher was Carrie Ong, was her English teacher. And I think she was just an excellent teacher. Um, what was your favorite, so your favorite teacher was your English teacher then? Yes. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, what were your favorite restaurants in Columbus? Well, we had the, the Gauze Cafe was downtown. That was kind of a all meal restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then we had Taylor Brothers and uh, it was up near the fire station. Gotcha. It was, later became Saps. And You've heard a lot about that. <laughs> and then the uh, the Greeks. Oh yeah. The Greeks was our main hangout mm -hmm. after school, and still is, I guess. It's a, <laughs> yeah. We go down to the Greeks every afternoon after school. Awesome. So, would you go off campus for lunch, or would you stay here for lunch? I'd go off campus. I'd, I'd go home. You go home. I live just four blocks from school. Oh, gotcha. So I would go home for lunch. Awesome. Um, so the hit place to meet up was Greeks then you would say? Yeah, that was the main. And the in the evening, Jive Kennel was, have you heard of the Jive Kennel? It was, mm -hmm. yeah. it was a kid hangout and mm -hmm. it was run by a parks department, I, I think, but they had a guy that was in charge of it. And it was a ping pong and... Oh, that's cool. A good place. It was on the corner of Franklin and Third uh, Street. So where's the law office now? <laughs> um, who was the principal while you were here? Uh, Chasteen, Lauren Chasteen. Okay, cool. Um, did you have to do any senior projects or papers? No, no, no we didn't. None of that. I, at least I wasn't involved <laughs> in any. Gotcha. Um, and what did the yearbook look like? When you were uh, in high school. Well, this is the log. Yeah, sure. And that was, I've, I've kept it all through the years. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and how many people were in your school total? Uh, 1,200. For all four years? Yeah, well, I was just here one year. Oh, yeah. Well, for the whole school. Yeah. 
Um, and what were the hot styles back then? Like, how would you wear your hair? Shoes? Oh, the hair was not long. It, uh, I had wavy hair, so it was fairly short. And we wore sweaters and shirts and no blue jeans or uh, it was fairly dress dressy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's different than nowadays. You can just wear sweatpants to school and yeah, not yeah. be dress coded or anything. <laughs> well, mothers wouldn't let us do that. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> um, what was the defining moment of your high school experience? Oh, I think just graduating and mm -hmm. uh, still had a lot of friends around. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, in your opinion, what made you North, or what made your time at North unique? Oh, just uh, being a senior and graduating. Mm -hmm. and graduating was a big thing. Yeah. And the sports were big. Basketball was a mm -hmm. it was big. We had a great team that year. So. That's always the best whenever you have yeah. a team. <laughs> um, what clubs or sports were you um, in? Well, I, I was on the football team and uh, that's about all. I went out for track but I wasn't any good at it. Mm -hmm. and, but basketball was in football. Mm -hmm. or I tried out for basketball but that didn't last long. So. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, I think we're done. You answered all of our questions. Um, do you have anything else you want to talk about from your high school career? No, it was just it was a wonderful experience. Awesome. And Columbus became my home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay, thank you well, so much. Thanks. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.